question number seven, um, or for question number seven, you are given the side directly across from the 60 degree angle, which is four. And now here we're used to seeing um, a number times root three. So that means we have to do a little bit of work to figure out the rest of our answers. So that means that four equals x times the root of three, because that's the relationship then of this side. So I'm looking for x because that is the shortest side. So in order to get x by itself, I need to divide both sides by root three. And remember, we can't have um, we can't have these radicals in a denominator, which means we need to end up multiplying both sides by root three to undo that. So I'm gonna kind of work my way backwards down here. So four times root three gives me four times the root of three. We can't really simplify that anymore. On the bottom, though, we have the root of 3 times the root of 3, which gives you the root of 9. And you can continue simplifying here. Nothing to finish on the top. You can't combine 4 and root 3 at all. But the root of 9 breaks down to 3. And here's where I'll stop because I can't reduce this anymore. So my final answer then is 4 root 3 divided by root 3. And that is my shortest side. For number eight, I'm given the side directly across from my shortest, um, my smallest angle, which is four. So the relationship then with the 60 degree angle, the 60 degree, 60 degree angle is the length of the shortest side, which is four times the root of three. So there's my final answer for number eight. For number nine, I'm given the side directly across from the 60 degree angle and it's 18. So this is a lot like number seven. I'm given a whole number and I need to set it equal to um, x times the root of three in order to figure out what x is. So I'm gonna do that again. Remember, in order to get x by itself, this is being multiplied. So to undo multiplication, you need to, need to do division. So divide both sides by the root of three. And we can't have, we can't have these denominators down here. So we need to multiply both the top and the bottom by root three. Again, kind of working my way backwards to the bottom here, 18 times root three is just gonna be 18 root three on top. And then the root three times root three gives me root nine and I need to continue simplifying just like I did before. 18 root three, and then the square root of nine or the root of nine is three. And now you could stop here and you wouldn't technically be wrong, but I wanna point out here you have numbers outside of the root that can be simplified. 18 divided by three gives you six, and then you still have this root three. So your final answer then is six root three.